Hey everyone, Leif with Substrate Climbing here. Um, I wanted to hop on today and shoot this little instructional video for you. Um, I've been seeing, a t you know, there's a ton of content online nowadays when it comes to climbing training and just general strength training and conditioning in general. Um, you know, there's some real good nuggets of, of information in, in some of the training videos and some of the beta that you see online. There's also a lot of garbage and in that garbage category, I would include misinformation or half truths. Um, you know, there's a lot of new coaches in the industry and I think a lot of them are well-intentioned, but they maybe don't have the background or the why behind why we do certain things. Um, and so this video is going to be one that I've, of many, I hope, uh, to kind of try and maybe smooth out some of that kind of like wrinkly information that's out there and give you guys a better idea and some better tools to help yourself while you're training uh, yourselves and, uh, you know, some things to keep in mind when you're, you know, in crowded training spaces with other folks, individuals, whether that's climbing gym or even just at the general strength gym. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today are supersets. If you're not familiar with supersets, uh, I have substrate athletes train with supersets when we do strength training days, which is almost always in the weight gym. That's usually weight lifting centric. Um, I really like supersets because it's a great way to expedite the workout. It goes a lot faster than traditional uh, individual sets for each exercise. So a superset is anywhere between two and four exercises kind of combined in a group, okay? And they're done back to back with maybe between 30 and at most about 60 seconds in between each exercise. And the idea is that you work uh, different movement patterns in succession. And what that does is it allows the muscle group that you just got done working out a chance to kind of rest while you're working out another muscle group. Um, again, it's a really great way to speed up the workout. I started working with these years ago when I was doing my own personal training because I was working out at a very crowded and very small training facility. And this is one of the best ways to get the most bang for my buck out of a small space. And I could still get a really efficient workout in without, you know, basically cluttering up the area around me or using up too much equipment. Um, so when you're doing supersets, this is maybe the biggest thing that I see people doing incorrectly is they don't plan ahead and they're not mindful of their surroundings. Um, as I said, when you're doing things back to back, the last thing you wanna be doing in a, in a gym space is working at the bench press, which is, you know, say here, walking over to the other side of the room to do your squats at the squat rack, then walking back over to the other corner of the room to do your pull-ups. Ideally, what you wanna do is combine exercises so that they can all be done in a very small area, about six feet. Okay, six, you know, six feet, a six foot radius. Um, pretty much all supersets can be done that way if you just plan ahead. Um, some examples might be, you know, for in my own personal home gym here, not that I've got a ton of space, but I always still try and, and use this um, kind of format and template when I'm doing supersets. So I might do pull-ups at the pull-up bar, um, you know, pistol squats. I've got my band here to do some assisted pistol squats and then I might do hanging straight leg raises. That requires me to stand in this area and work out here. And I can go through, you know, three sets of five reps of each of those, you know, in a really short amount of time with only about 30 seconds in between each exercise. And essentially what that's doing is after I do my pull-ups and I'm doing my pistol squats, I'm giving my upper body, my, my arms a chance to rest while my legs are doing work for the pistol squats. Then when I go to head, ahead to do my hanging straight leg raises, I'm giving my legs a rest while I'm working on my, you know, my core work for that set. And then I, you know, I might move on to my second set, which would be, you know, let's say goblet squats, kettlebell swings, and a kettlebell press. And again, even if you're using multiple different weights, you can still do all of that in a very small space. So I can do my, you know, my five goblet squats, then I can do my five swings, you know, I might even be using the same weight for both of those. You know, I switch the kettlebell out and then I'm doing my presses. All of that requires that I'm standing, you know, in about a six foot, you know, radius, six foot circumference circle. So again, I can do this entire, I can do this entire workout, which is great. That gives me, you know, uh, covers pretty much all the major movement patterns. It gives me some pulling exercise, some squatting exercise, hinging, 
Um, you know, it gives me some great core and some pressing. I can do all of that in a very small, confined space. I'm not in anybody else's way. And I'm also not tying up a ton of equipment using each of these supersets. So that's something to think about when you're in a crowded space and you want to do a superset, if you want to try those out, just plan ahead a little bit and try and think about the space you're going to be working out in and how you can be most efficient in using the equipment. And you know, that way you're not taking up a ton of equipment and you're also being conscious of the people around you. And you know, obviously that's the biggest thing when anytime we're training, we want to stay safe. Um, and this is a really great way to do that and also to speed up your strength workout. So um, as always, you know, hit me up with any questions. Always happy to chat with people about this kind of stuff. Um, as I said, we use all of substrate athletes use supersets when we do strength days and people love them. If you've never tried them before, I definitely recommend giving them a go. Um, it can be a little bit awkward at first just because you're moving so quickly. It feels a little chaotic when you're moving through them the first time, but the more you work with them, the faster you can get a workout in and you can get a really killer climbing or just strength training workout in, in about an hour pretty comfortably um, doing this sort of thing. So definitely give them a go. Hit me up with any questions. Thanks for checking in. We'll talk to you soon.